Well, great to be able to chat to you once again. Uh, today we are going to be looking at the topic of loneliness. And I'm going to get right out the blocks with the question, Kate. Um, often, you know, during the festive season, we actually feel quite lonely. Uh, but maybe let's talk about what it actually means uh, to be lonely. Yeah, so very often people feel like loneliness is associated with being alone. Mm. So, in other words, being physically alone. Yeah. But in fact, it really has to do with the state of the heart. So often you can actually be surrounded by people, but still feel lonely because mm. you have a lack of connection with them. Yeah. And this can really be exacerbated by the festive season when you see people connecting with their family, but you're feeling disconnected, yeah. even though you're around so many people. Um, I mean, I can even share a personal example. Yeah, for it. Um, at Christmas a couple of years ago, I was single and I was surrounded by cousins with children and obviously you know, I was the only single one and the emphasis was on family and children and all of those things and I was sitting there a little bit quiet just because I didn't really have much to offer in that yeah. situation um, and a family member popped up and said don't worry Kate there's always artificial insemination <laughs> what <laughs> so yeah it was great um, I may have cried in the bathroom for a little while, um, but that really made me feel isolated in a sense. Yeah. And listen, I don't hold anything against that family member. They meant well. They were yeah. actually trying to encourage me. It just didn't really go the way they thought it would. Um, but yeah, so it's really a matter of feeling emotionally, spiritually and mentally isolated. Yeah. Um, and the other thing I just wanted to highlight is that Social media can make this even worse. Um, it's not to say that social media is bad necessarily, but it's taught us to put up facades and to only put up our highlights reels and things like that. And so we're yeah. now afraid to be vulnerable. Um, and vulnerability is a huge catalyst when it comes to connecting to people. So we're scared to be vulnerable, but we need it in order to connect with yeah. people. And yeah. so what have you found has helped uh, you yeah. to overcome loneliness? Well, the first thing that really helped me was to actually put myself out of my comfort zone. So in a time when I was, I had just moved and needing to connect with people, I just joined a new church and um, I wasn't sure how to connect. So I actually, this wasn't necessarily with the intention to connect, but it had the effect yeah. of it. So I joined the high school ministry and started serving there. And through that, got to know other leaders and that helped me form friendships. The other thing I did was volunteer for Red Frogs. Yeah. Um, and you had to be part of a group. Um, my group was at my church. So that really helped me to form a few new relationships because you had to work quite closely together. The second thing that's really helped me actually recently is understanding that Jesus is probably the most well acquainted with loneliness than anyone else. Yeah. Um, he was a sinless person living in a very sinful world and no one could really relate to him. Um, and in Isaiah 53 verse 3, it says, He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief. Yeah. So that just shows us that he had his own struggles um, and probably felt quite alone. And in a John, not John Piper, John Bloom um, yeah. piece that I read on Desiring God, it says, it says that Jesus was a sinless person living with sinful parents, sinful siblings, sinful extended relatives and sinful neighbors. No one on earth could identify with him. No human being could put an arm around him as he sat in tears and say, I know exactly what you're going through. So it was comforting to know that our savior who yeah. is the ultimate source of all comfort, has, understands what loneliness is. Um, and then the last thing was learning that I am actually worthy of connection. Mm. For so long I was telling myself the story that people weren't interested. Yeah. They didn't really see me and why would they? Um, and through my journey with God I started to realize, well actually there is a worthiness there yeah. and people do want to know me. So just retelling myself that narrative and learning that um, people would want to know me and believing mm. that.